Today's guests really are part of the Luce family. We have followed their IVF journey from the very beginning and last time they joined us, Ola was eight months pregnant. As you might imagine, a lot has changed since then and from their home in Kent, a very warm welcome to James and Ola Jordan and little 11 week old Ella. Oh, Hello. No. Oh, Hi. it's so oh. wonderful to see you all. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, 11 weeks old already. It's been the best of times and the worst of times for you as a family. I mean, the excitement of this little one, lockdown kicks in. How have you been coping? Wow, it's quite surreal actually. It's surreal having a newborn and not knowing what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. And then being in lockdown and not being able to see anyone, it's really strange. I mean, you just want to ask questions, your friends and family, my sister, you just want to see people. Um, yeah, so I mean, we, we do it on FaceTime, but it's not the same as like we've had a few little things happen with Ella. Um, that you just want kind of a bit of reassurance from someone yeah. that's been there and done it and just say, yeah, that's normal, don't worry about that. Um, but we haven't had that luxury because yeah. she hasn't really seen anyone. So we really are winging it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think we all find ourselves in that position, to be fair, in those first few weeks. And as you say, though, you had a little issue because you did have to go back into hospital with her, didn't you? We did. Uh, about five w uh, She was five weeks when she... Um, started to, like, choke on her own saliva, I would say. Yeah. Um, and it got to the point of the evening that it was really, really quite You could see bad. she was really struggling There's to breathe no and everything. There's no way we could have sleep um, at and, night. And so. we, we rung 111 and just asked for their advice. Um, and they said, look, we, we feel we should send an ambulance out. And first of all, we were like, oh, my God, we don't want to have to go into hospital no. um, because of all what's going on. Um, but then the ambulance guys came in, um, suited and booted, uh, full PPE. Um, and they basically said, look, we feel that we need to take her into hospital yeah. just for a checkup. Um, so we did, because otherwise we wouldn't have slept anyway. Yeah, and the thing is, you don't want to you don't want to go to hospital because of the COVID, but you also don't want to not um, get well, attention. We would have never forgiven ourselves, yeah, would we, if, if anything something happens. had happened. Yeah, so. and he, he, we've been told that she's got silent reflux. Oh. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's she still struggles. So with after it. every feed, we have to hold her upright yeah. for at least oh. half an hour. Bless her, she's her. asleep now. <laughs> she was having a meltdown just about ten minutes ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were panicking, going, "Oh my god, what are we gonna do?" <laughs> so how soon was she born before lockdown? About four days. Oh, uh, wow. Well, uh, she was born on the twenty seventh, so yeah, about a week. Because wasn't lockdown about the fifth, mm. something like that. Oh, every day blurs into one, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when it started I, or where it ends. She only met a couple I of people. Think it she like, on she met my mum, my dad, my sister, your sister, my sister, and that was it, really. Yeah. And then lockdown, and she, yeah, just sees people she on FaceTime. Doesn't know that people exist out there. No. I think she's and trying to work out how so many people are on one phone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like you're getting that? Because uh, sometimes after you have a baby, sometimes it can be overwhelming the amount of people that come in and out of the house and you yeah. don't get that to be in that baby bubble for very long. So actually, is it an opportunity to just remain in that like yeah, happy, fuzzy bubble? Yeah, in some ways, it's quite nice. You don't have to wash your hair and you just stay at home and cuddle your baby all day. Mm. Yeah, but um, sometimes I'm... Uh, I panic about everything, so and I overanalyze everything. So I'm watching her, going, "Why is she doing that? And why? Why is she? If if you're able to go out and go to the shops or walk around Blue Water Shopping Centre and then go and see your parents or go for coffee with friends, I don't know. I just think it's that. I don't know. It just makes everything yeah, we a lot easier. Yeah, everything. Where... And James is on Google all the time, Terrible. trying to search if it's right or not. And yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah. I've got to ask James about his oh, appearance. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I, James, I can't I like let it. you get away with not explaining that hairstyle. I you mean, know what it is? Everyone was having these haircuts at home, shaving their hair, and I was thinking, I'm either going to shave it all off or just let it grow. And I just thought, I'm going to do the opposite well, to everyone else and I, just let it grow. I think it, what it is, is people coming back to James on Instagram saying, how can you have hair like this? Yeah. You should shave it all off. And and I think he goes the, to the opposite. Yeah, when people tell me I have to do something, I want to do the complete opposite. And yeah, I know I, I look I awful. I look that. like I've aged about 30 years, but... 
I it like is what it, it is. It's like castaway sheep. I like sheep. it. I like it. <laughs> I, I said I'd look like the guy from Home Alone, Marv. <laughs> <laughs> How are you all adjusting, though, to a family of three? I mean, you two are always so busy. You're always out on the road together, obviously, doing what you do. Um, how do you think life will change, even post-lockdown as well? Because I do believe that little Ella has you wrapped around her finger already, James. So I can't imagine you wanting to leave her for very long. Um, no, I suppose life is just going to be totally different for us, but we wanted that for a long time. So I think we're just so ready to um, have this different life. It's a lot more difficult than we thought because it is full on. Um, so we have admiration for anyone that's had children. I mean, when people, you hear of people having triplets and things like that, I'm like, wow, how do they do it? Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it's amazing. It and, is amazing. Yeah. It Are you is getting amazing. much sleep? Tested, really. Are you getting much sleep? You know what? That's one thing. It's not. She's not bad. I mean, I don't want it to change, but she's giving us about five hours oh, in one go. Oh, so you're lucky. Oh, that's really good. Down at e about eleven. Yeah. She, and then she woke up about half four, which I think is quite good. That's really you're winning. Good. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. She, and then she she was restless for about an hour and a half, and then went back down till nine. So. Um, yeah. yeah, no. And, and if she wakes up, she's got you to waltz her around the bedroom, I gather. I did, yeah. Because we have to hold her up for so long before we put her down because of this reflux, um, sometimes, yeah, I just have a little dance with her. Oh. My little girl. At yeah. what stage can you get her dancing shoes on? How old, how old can children be before they're officially allowed on that dance floor? She's going to have a golf club in her hands before no, she has not. dark shoes on. She's she, is. <laughs> she doesn't want to. I was going to, I was going to ask you, actually, because um, obviously you both used to be on Strictly. I don't know if you've been reading that they're talking about maybe self-isolating dancers with their partner. How would you two have oh, reacted to that back in the day? Wow, there'd be a lot more relationships going on, <laughs> won't there? Um, but I think, actually, that sounds like a great idea. You could make a, a, a second show from it as well, showing how they all have the arguments and fights and everything. Put and them in the same house. Put them in the same that. house, like Big Brother verse, like, come strictly come dancing. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be very interesting indeed. So we, we talked about, uh, James, not just about, you know, the, the sort of struggle that you, you went through to have little Ellen. and here she is now looking wonderful and healthy. W where are your heads now for number two? Because I got asked, I think on day two of having my baby, I got asked, are you wanting another one? I thought, are you serious? Can you can you please not even go there? But I know you you did want big family, didn't you? Um, yeah, I think in ideal world, we would like to have a bigger family, yes, but... You know, we don't know if that's going to happen. We were very lucky to get pregnant with our first IVF. Um, yeah. And obviously, being a lockdown now and what's happening in the world, I don't know how would that happen again. Yeah, with so, the current situation, I don't even think would consider actively trying to have another child just, with, with, yet. just yet because it's the unknown, isn't it? Yeah. Um, would we like to? Yes, we would. We're both getting a bit older now. Um, so our clock, clock is ticking. Our clock is ticking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully we don't miss the boat. But I don't think we would try and have children, another child, um, until we know what's happening with the whole COVID yeah. situation. Oh, but we would love look, to. You've got your hands full as She's it is. Amazing. She's fantastic, and we are she so is. happy thank for the two of you. Thank you so much thank for talking to much. us today. Look oh, at her. Thank... What a perfect little baby. Oh, so cool. My <laughs> goodness, it's fantastic. Thank you so much, James and Ola.